Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about independent reading time and how we can use Google Forms to track student reading while also making the idea of a regular reading log or reading reflection more engaging and fun for students. Hey there, literacy lovers. I'm Toluca, your go-to guide for building a love of literacy in your classroom, one word at a time. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. So today we're gonna to start by talking about the benefits of independent reading time for students, as well as something to consider first if incorporating independent reading regularly in your classroom. This is a topic I'm particularly interested in right now because personally, as an adult, I recently came to the realization that aside from scrolling through my social media feeds, <laughs> I really hadn't read for enjoyment since my pre-college days. I read a couple of books here and there, but the idea of picking up a book and then reading it from cover to cover seemed really daunting to me. And I think that that had to do with my attitude and my feelings towards reading shifting in college when all of my reading was mandatory and purely academic. Now, after I realized this, I made a New Year resolution. And yes, I do set New Year's goals and I stick to them. And my goal this year was to read three books. That's it, just three. I set the bar really low for myself. And as it turned out, setting that easily attainable goal helped me develop stamina and interest again. And now I'm proud to say that I am on book number 20 for this year and it's still only April. <laughs> and one of the cool byproducts of this is now my first grader will pick up a book to read all by herself before bed each night now. So I think that's pretty cool. All of this is to say that giving our students time to read independently outside of our curriculum for just a small chunk of the day each day can have similar effects on kids. So you might see them increase their reading stamina, build knowledge about a topic if they choose nonfiction books. They might become more interested in curling up with a good book um, and they might even develop like visualization strategies while they're reading. The list goes on. And then some will even argue that independent reading each day will help develop overall reading skills like comprehension and fluency as well. Now with that said, one thing I would like to point out is that you should consider your struggling readers who don't necessarily have the same reading strengths as others in the classroom. So an issue that you could potentially face is having these kids pick up a book that maybe is inaccessible to them, but they're picking it up because they see that's what their friends are picking up. So for example, when I did this in my third grade class, some of my non and my low readers in third grade would pick up a chapter book because they saw their friends choosing those books. So this is something to consider and brainstorm solutions for if you're gonna implement a daily reading routine. So now let's say you want to incorporate a new reading routine, but you want to create a bit of accountability for your students and their independent reading. So this is where Google Forms come in. Now Google Form, you might be familiar with it at this point after you know years of virtual learning, but for those of you who aren't familiar with it, a Google Form is a really great tool that can be used with or without student Google accounts or emails. Okay, anyone can fill out a Google Form. You can give students the link to that form and then you think of it as like an online quiz or a survey and then they can answer the questions and submit it to you when they're done. This is a great way to ask students about what they're reading. So like what they read, what type of book it was, what their favorite parts were, what they learned, really anything that you can think of to help students reflect on what they just read. Now it's not meant to be something heavily academic or graded or anything like that, but it is a way to give students the chance to think about what they just read. Now for me personally, on my own journey this year, I have shared some of my own amateur book reviews on my Instagram, and honestly, this has helped me actually refine my taste in books. So I now know that I'm primarily a romance reader with a special place in my heart for the second chance romance literary trope, 
And then when I'm all romanced out, I switch it up with a Chris and Hannah book to challenge me emotionally. <laughs> so back to the Google Forms thing. I created a digital reading log using Google Forms and it's available on my TPT. But here's how it works. First, students fill out the reading log form as often as you wish. You give them that link once and they just reuse that daily, weekly, however often you want them to. The form asks for their name and the date, the title of the book, and then if the book that they read is fiction or nonfiction. Then they click the next button and the next question is adaptive, meaning that the questions come, that come after are customized depending on if they selected fiction or nonfiction as their text type. So this is really cool. After moving on to the next section, there are a couple of editable questions that students answer. So for example, if they chose fiction, it'll ask about their favorite parts, about their characters, about the characters, about the plot. And then if they chose nonfiction, the next questions will be about like facts. What did you learn? Once they submit their responses, this is where it's wild. It's so cool. Their responses will all auto-populate on a very pretty spreadsheet for you so that you can read through all your students' reflections all in one place. Can you imagine how easy this makes it all? You have an accountability piece, it's fun for the kids, and it's organized for you. You can track your students' progress, you can identify any like patterns or trends in their reading habits, and then you can use that information to give personalized feedback and even book recommendations. So if this is something you'd like to try, check the description below where I have the digital reading log linked. So that's it for today. I hope this has been helpful to you as you reflect on your independent reading opportunities, as well as how to incorporate Google Forms. Let's encourage our students to read independently and grow their love of reading. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.